Hello everyone, this is Kevin, your entrepreneur, and as you can see on the side, Lyft has decided to discontinue their ambassador program. I don't know exactly when this happened. I'm kind of under the impression this is a fairly recent thing, but this is a huge, huge, huge blow to morales if you are a dr driver for Lyft. And I'm gonna, of course, explain why, because the Lyft Ambassador Program was not just a way for certain Lyft drivers to make more money. It wasn't. I mean, it was a way where Lyft could use fellow Lyft drivers to meet potential Lyft drivers, take a ride with them, see what their car was like, and make recommendations. And if that recommendation was uh, accepted, obviously the Ambassador would make a, lot of, a little extra money. But it also meant that Lyft Ambassadors were very, very keen to um, recruit new drivers for the platform. They were, and they were a face for the company. This was an advantage Uber did not have. Uber was kind of known as the faceless company until Travis Kalanick really became the face of Uber and that created problems. But for Lyft, the face of Lyft has always been the drivers because largely of the ambassador program well for whatever reason lyft has decided ambassadors are no longer necessary i don't know why i do not know why lyft believes the drivers are no longer important to them i don't understand why either the companies don't take advantage of the drivers here's the thing what lyft and uber don't understand is that if you treat the drivers well they are your greatest asset they're your greatest asset for two reasons. One, they are the ones who get people around. If there's no drivers, your service doesn't work. I know they say they're talking about the autonomous vehicles. They're not coming anytime soon, and I will stick by that. But that's. But aside from that, though, your drivers are your ambassadors. They are the face of your company. They are the ones who sell the service to people. People like me two years ago were going like, hey, have you tried Uber? It's this great service. You can drive for it, you can make a little extra money, and it's wonderful. I mean, I wish I had made my channel two years ago so you could kind of see my progression. I made my channel about seven months ago where I started getting very disillusioned with Uber, and now I'm getting very disillusioned with Lyft, more so in some cases. And had I started my channel two years ago, you could see my, you can see me go from excitement to concern to disillusionment to what am I even doing anymore? And it's because of things like this. And I, I don't understand these companies. There are so many companies that started in the 20s, 30s, 40s, and they are still around because their founders valued people. You know, the guy who, you know, Heinz, who created Heinz Ketchup, Walt Disney, who created the Disney Company. You know, um, General Ford, I believe that's what his name was, Henry Ford, um, guys who valued their employees and yeah, the companies, maybe they're not what they used to be, but what that was what kind of, they had strong foundations and family values and work ethic and American values. I don't see a lot of that with Uber and Lyft. And in fact, Lyft disappointed me even more because I was watching Uberman's channel and he did a story about how someone from Lyft got into a car accident and Lyft not only didn't help the person file the claim, but Lyft also wouldn't fix the car unless because there was a $2,500 deductible that the driver obviously can't pay. Um, and Lyft is holding on to his earnings for that day and they've just simply disappeared. And if this is true, and by the way, I want to say, I have no, I do not want to make that sound like Uberman's lying. I, I have no doubt he's telling the truth. No doubt. That's just more of a figure of expression. But if true, that, that concerns me. That definitely concerns me. Especially since, as he pointed out, Uber, especially when it comes to cars, has been a little bit more helpful. I, I frankly don't think either company is very helpful to drivers when they're in a situation. I mean, I had a situation with Uber. It's one of my most viewed videos where someone you know, attacked me in the car, stole my phone, and destroyed it. Uh, had to get the cops involved, and when it came time to replace that $700 phone, Uber was kind of like, man, the car wasn't damaged, you're on your own. 
it's um, it, it's amazing, really. Especially since people can quit these companies. They can quit them and no harm will come to them. If I decide to just today, I'm not driving anymore, and I went and got another job, I there's no... It's not like I need Lyft's referral. It's not like leaving Uber or Lyft is going to look bad on my resume. It's just not. People can leave whenever they want and they can work as much as they want. And it amazes me that everything Uber and Lyft does, they do to try to discourage people from driving for them. And the only time they seem interested in appeasing us is the weekend when it's like, hey, we need you to work on Saturday, which we know is a day most people don't want to work. So here you go, here's a boost. You can make an additional 30 cents a mile. If that, not even that really, it's more like, no, it's like more like seven cents a mile. I, if I've come off as a little bit more depressed this week than normal, it's probably because I am. I, I just, I wonder how low can the company sink? How low can they sink? How low do they sink before people wake up and they just move on? Heck, how low do they sink before I give up and move on? I don't know. Maybe I should start rebranding this channel a little bit. Maybe I should rebrand and start talking about computers and video games and stuff. I probably have a lot more fun doing it, that's for certain. I don't know. I guess the bottom line is that the ambassador program is gone. How is Lyft going to approve people's um, new applications? How are they going to know if the drivers that they're hiring are good or not without the ambassadors? Yeah, probably they don't. They're probably just going to do like Uber. Watch a YouTube video. Get on the road. Best of luck to you. Screw it.